In your opinion, how does the skill set acquired through the CFA program translate into understanding and navigating the complexities of the DeFi space? DeFi is ultimately going to tend toward TradFi and its capabilities. Right now, where the gap is between these two is that DeFi has been worked on by techies. TradFi mm -hmm. belongs to finance people. But when people like me, so finance people, jump here and help the techies rebuild the TradFi ecosystem, but on the blockchain, it's just going to tend and become like similar, very similar. The products in traditional finance, like derivatives, uh, futures contracts, spot contracts, you name it, all of them, DeFi will work exactly the same way. Exactly the same way. It's just going to take time because people are building but you're getting more and more features and you know uh, capabilities in DeFi. It's crazy to think, but like me, a year ago, you couldn't place a limit order on a DeFi exchange. Now it's possible, right? You couldn't place futures uh, orders on a DeFi exchange. Now it's possible. That's the main difference. But there are two things that are way better in DeFi, way better. And one is the name of the game, it's called liquidity, which is key. Any company project can now raise capital from anyone, anyone, and at any time. Because when you think about the traditional market, you can raise funds privately, but you need a network, you need uh, also some, some kind of a size for even be interesting to investors and everything. Now you can just launch a token and you know market it the way you want and boom, you have access to capital. So that levels the playing field for entrepreneurs, for everyone. That's one thing. And the other thing obviously is no middleman. So transparency, less opacity. The data, the on-chain data is out there and the fees are now equally distributed amongst participants without the need for a middle middleman to take like a sizable chunk of the profit in between like escrows how much money they make brokers how much money they make they make the most because they take a cut of everything if you're able to get rid of those now it's like equally dis distributed among participants it's so much more fair it simply is so all in all, it's a big win for all participants, but a loss for financial institutions, those dinosaurs that don't want to adapt.